Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel um, where I tell you the truth about the cars that I've owned not the ones that I'm paid to drive. Um, today I'm just going to give you the overview of the M2 competition. Now I did a video a couple of weeks ago say yep yeah, I've got one but I wanted to try it first before I told you guys my thoughts and um, initially you know when I think I believe when I did the video to say I've got it I said I loved it and it was good but I wanted to try it out before I told you my thoughts because I wanted to give you my real thoughts of the vehicle and the drive and it's still good and it's still lovely but let's, let's go around it and show you now my my thoughts and things I've identified and things I've noticed and and just give you guys an easier sort of uh, thoughts and bindings for when you're maybe looking at buying a BMW M2 competition so so the M2 competition is the uh, new edition of the M2 obviously it's got the 406 horsepower and I believe the M2 standard was 365 ish don't don't vouch me on that I'm not an expert I've just read the reviews like a lot of other people but around 365 this is 406 and wow it does pack a punch it does pack a good punch when you put your foot down um, this vehicle um, runs with the um, M4 drivetrain. You'll notice on the M2's at the back end, they do really kick out and that's the real look and that's what gives the M2 the really nice look is the back end really, really kicks out like that. And that's only because it has to accommodate the M4 drivetrain at the back. So, so the reason it is because obviously they couldn't fit it in, it's not the M4's wider than the M2. So that's the reason for that. Um, M2 styling on the sides which is nice We've got the m2 the new sort of m2 mirrors on this as well which are really nice mirrors um apart from that um body work wise about the same as the the m2 really um really nice set of wheels so you run on 265 35 19s on the rear don't run on run flats lovely set of m sport brakes look at the size of them discs them discs are massive and they stop the car really well and on the front end you know we're running some some wide old tires on the front as well we're running some uh, some 19 inch 245s on the front and yet again you know look at the size of them them brake discs and as I've, I've mentioned before these discs are not um, ceramic they're just standard discs on these just a uh, pack a punch when you put your foot on the brake um so the car is ultimately fantastic and it's just really good car and there's a lot more powerful cars than this out there but for what you pay for this 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 is this car it's got a full history one owner before me and i paid just touching forty thousand pounds for this and it's got seven thousand miles on the clock so it's got plenty of miles left in it i'll probably only keep it for a year do a bit of driving in it and see how i get on one thing a lot of people in the reviews do say they really hate is this horrible exhaust on the back end look where the uh, silencer sticks down at the back now you can get diffusers to to basically cover that up but or a lot of people paint them black however i don't i don't think it's too bad to be fair um look out when you're buying them as well um where the back ends kick out a little bit you'll see it's a massive difference in the uh the shape of the vehicle there you get a massive amount of stone chips underneath the vehicle here um, and around here you will see you got some protective coat uh, covering here see-through uh, PPF here but around this area here you still get a massive amount of stone chips just because the rear end of the car kicks out as much and it's going to obviously come off the front tires there as well so just keep an eye on that when you're when you're going to purchase one of these vehicles keep an eye on that um, we've gone over the wheels the wheels actually on this are fantastic it's a diamond cut and there's not one mark on them so the engine these these actually run on the m3 m4 um, engines um they're just detuned a little bit basically just to pull them back a little bit from the uh the power that the m4 and m3 kick out however obviously being just detuned you can tune them up very very easily love this bit of carbon in here really nice bit of carbon in here strengthening the the engine bay and the structure of the vehicle you've got the black grill at the front which really shows the car nicely with your m2 badge and the black grill down the bottom the only thing i think is really really bad on these is the, how damaging is that in there how easy can that rad get damaged look how the oil coolers how easy they can get damaged too easily i'm just surprised it's left 
it's left open so much and same within there in here look these rads can get damaged so so easily so easily um another thing to look at when you're buying for obviously these here are very low at the ground stone chips and that on them as well and this is this isn't too bad for stone chips it has got a few but it hasn't got many miles on it but it's still got a few stone chips on it for the mileage um so yeah that's that's the uh engine bay just a quick look inside that's the standard basic really with regards to bmw it's got um not the latest technology but it's okay um nice seats so you've got the, the upgraded seats in here for the m2 these little uh m2 badges light up at night um dct gearbox a lot of people talk about these how do you get on with it um they are a little bit different to your normal gearbox just making you aware if you're going to buy one of these for instance when you stick it in reverse or you stick it in drive it does take a couple of seconds to engage so just be wary of that if you're going to quickly do a three point turn in the road it doesn't engage as quick as you might think it is going to so just be very aware of that because it does catch you out with the dct box i've seen a lot of reviews well there's no park function what do you do well when you stop basically you leave it in drive stop button and it will automatically put itself in park you can't leave it in neutral it won't allow you to lock the doors so you can't leave it in there just down here you've got your functions for your sport sport plus and dynamic modes you can turn all your traction off here steering wheel mode so you've got the same as your economy sport and sport plus and this button here is just about your gear changing ratio and how quick you want it to change basically so inside basic really is as, as an m2 is um basically you've got a bit of carbon so you've got some carbon handles which are really nice carbon effect handles um but apart from that guys we are what we are is what it is you've got enough room in the back to get someone short in there which is good you know so it does it does help you out with that as well but you know overall this is my daily drive as i've said previously in my in my videos and it really does me well you know and it's not too bad at all so what i'm going to do i'm going to get on the road give it a blast on the back road over in suffolk and uh, show you what it's all about so let's get in the car right we're now out on the road um, in the m2 um just want to show you a bit of its capability really and uh show you what it's like in the different modes so currently driving in um i suppose pussycat mode so comfort mode so everything's in comfort and all it does really is wind the engine right down and um lets the engine run like a normal car i suppose still doesn't do many miles to the gallon if you can see the screen there we're doing about 26.9 um however on a on a run for me to work 48 miles each way down the m11 to london um, we are pulling about 35 to 36 miles to the gallon but if you put that into an average we are only going to average in this car around around 32 miles to the gallon but however in a 406 horsepower three litre twin turbo car with a lot of power you know it's not too bad you know so um it does the job and um it's not too bad on fuel either really for, for the type of car it is of acceleration like i say so we're driving it now just like a normal car and put it in full auto automatic mode in the dct box and um you can see it's a smooth car and you know it's just like driving your day-to-day -day car really uh, around a country road however we put it into sports plus in a minute you'll see it's a different animal and the car is so stable and because of short wheelbase as well the car's really stable and it's just when you go around a corner you can feel the back end twitching but you can actually hold the back end because it's just I suppose the wheel base is you're close to the rear wheels and you can feel everything that's going on so I'm just going to flick it over into sports plus mode now and then I'm going to flick it into manual mode as well so you can you can hear the difference then and see how we go
driving as a driver's car, yeah, it's a, it is a hard ride, which you'd expect, you know, it's a, a super sports car, isn't it, you know, this is going to be a hard ride, so you've got fairly hard suspension, and um, yes, you can feel every bump, but it also sticks to the road like glue, you know, so it's, it's a really, really good fun vehicle, you know, and I'd highly recommend, recommend it for fun as well. You know, these obviously have been upgraded from this, the other, um, the standard M2s, they've got more horsepower, um, they're running on, you know, the M4, M3 engines now, um, better seats, better looking seats, uh, the inside of the seats, actually the M2 badge and the seats light up in the dark, which I didn't realise until the other day, uh, when I was in a car park, but it's really really nice and um yeah so got a lot more i can say about that than it is a lot of fun i'm just waiting to see if we can get past this car actually and um, show you a bit more fun here really um but um dashboard um and interior features is i've just come out of a z4 to get into this and um i have gone back um and generation within the technology um but you know, I've gone back into generation of technology and I've come into a car with a with a fantastic engine handling, sounds, looks, you know, so it's worth it, you know, I'm not worried about technology so much, I've never used it anyway, so I'm not worried so much. You get carbon finish in these as well, so you've got the carbon finish in there, and um, the only thing that is real different to a normal automatic is the DCT box, and they do take a little bit of getting used to. Um, because when you put it into gear it does take a couple of seconds to um, actually click into gear. So that car's gone, let's show you some more. You hear the engine? Oh, twitchy. See when we come out of the corner they're just so, so twitchy but so much fun and so easy to handle as well. Feel it so quickly in the cars, they're well known actually for the handling, and the handling of this vehicle is absolutely brilliant. And you just every time you feel it twitch, you just fight you know, you're steering against it, and then the car just comes back into its own, and it just comes straight back in. Let's do it, see if we can get it sideways around here. sticker in sports plus have some fun and really enjoy it okay guys hope you enjoyed that um watch me watch my channel subscribe follow share my videos and um let everyone else see what i'm doing i say well, what i always say on my videos is i'm telling you the, the what i think of the vehicles that i own i haven't been paid to drive this car i own this car i haven't been given it for a couple of days i own it and you know i own it live it dream it and uh, I'm going to tell you my true thoughts about it. I'm not going to tell you what the, the the YouTubers and that need to tell you because that's what they're they're testing the cars for to get them out in the market. I'm I'm testing the car from from reality. You know, it's reality. It's real. You know, it's mine. So there you go. Thanks very much. Like, subscribe, ask questions. Let me know your thoughts. If any more videos you'd like to see, and uh, I'll speak soon, guys. Catch you soon. More videos.